In this review, we're going to look at the Walmart exclusive, Joe Fixit from Marvel Legends. The Joe Fixit comes in the windowless uh, plastic free packaging, which I'm glad it's going away. We're going to get the nice window boxes back because for figures like this, I usually like to keep the boxes uh, when they have, with the trays where I can put my accessories and I just put them in storage. But these always got pitched after that. But anyway, on the front of the box, we got a render of the Hulk. Not an actual photo of the Hulk, it's just a render. Which is another thing I never did like about these. They would do away from actual f toy photography, or which, or just we didn't need toy photography because we could see the figure. We got some nice artwork of the Hulk, Joe Fix on the side. On the back, we got a picture of the Hulk with his accessories. We got the alternate hand, the Tommy gun. The uh, grip hands, the fist hands, and the hat with the fedora. We got your legalese, Marvel trademarks, and you got your sad onion. And you got barcode on the bottom. And render on the side. Fist logo on the top. And trash. We got the figure here. I like this thing. I know it's just reusing the game reverse body. We have a new paint job and some new accessories. But I like this thing. I know some people might think it's too small for Joe Fix-It, but Joe Fix-It was smaller. And it's still a good size figure. Here he is with the ADF Reverse Hulk body. And that's actually a good size comparison between Joe Fix-It versus the Savage Hulk. The Joe Fix-It was smaller. So this actually fits in well with a comic book style Joe Fix-It. So this is using the Game Reverse uh, Joe Fix-It body. Just a new paint job. So you can see the lot difference in styles with the the heads are much smaller on the game reverse one. Uh, are the hands the same? Let's see. The fist hands, the hands are the same, just different color. These got a little bit of a green uh, tone to them. These are full on gray on the new figures, but we got the new grip hands. One's a uh, trigger finger hand too for the new Tommy gun. Same sculpt and everything. Got the bottom button un unbuttoned. Uh, one thing I did notice, this piece on the Build-A-Figure, the tie is actually removable. They glued it on the new figure because I was going to try to swap it out so I can have a red tie on here. But uh, I just figured it wasn't worth the hassle to swap out the ties because I do like the the deco on the tie on this one. It's just a solid black on this one. But yeah, this is pretty dang cool myself, I think myself. It's the Hulk in a pinstripe suit with a Tommy gun and a fedora. How cool is that? I like this thing a lot. I like the colors, the, the details of the costume. It uh, would have been nice if they, this is the only thing, a little bit of eyesore, they could have painted it inside the, inside the shirt blue. The, the hide that part. We had that issue with the Luke Cage recently, where you can see the flesh tone underneath through the jacket hole. But you gotta have that cut, allow for the arm to come down, which is, but when you're gonna do that, really should paint there. Did they do it on the Build-A-Figure? They did it on the Build-A-Figure. You can see it's blue back there. For some reason on the deluxe release, they did not do that. You got the Tommy gun. That's really cool looking. Might end up doing a wash on the wood grain just to bring out that detail a little bit more. Because it is so cool though. I like having the, a badass gangster Hulk. You know, the articulation is not the best on this body. But really doesn't need to be because it's going to be just posed up really cool on my shelf. And one thing too about having this set where it comes off the extra pieces, he basically has an upgrade kit for this Hulk. Since he comes with two sets of hands, we can remove the game reverse head, fist, and we got the alternate head. Let's take a look at that right quick. I like that. That is so Joe Fix It. That's a great head sculpt. Probably one of the better Hulk head sculpts Hasbro's done for, and it's for Joe Fix It. We can just pop that on. It sits low enough on the neck. It's a different color, but it sits down low enough where it hides that. And we pop the hands here. So the hands are the same, just different color. So we got Joe Fix It in two suits. That makes this one look way better with that bigger noggin and more gray skin tones. 
I like it. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this head sculpt while we're into it. And, oh yeah. I like that a lot. The eyes are painted well. The face sculpt. Everything about this. I love this head sculpt. This is my main one that's going to stay on this body. And the alternate one, that's an upgrade for I can have two comic book style Joe Fixits. Well, probably we'll have three since we're going in the tuxedo one with a patch. If you want to see a full breakdown on the review on this one, I'll put a link right here. But overall, I am happy with this. And if you watch my top 10 list, this was num my number two pick for the year. I'm a huge Hulk fan, so yeah, this is just so cool for me. I love uh, but pretty much about almost every incarnation of the Hulk, and Joe Fix was just like one of those really cool ones too. But anyway, thanks for your time watching the video. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time.